In this section, you'll learn about network programmability and automation. So let's have a look and see what you're going to learn in this section. So I've come to the Cisco website and I'm looking at the exam topics here. To find this page, just Google for Cisco CCNA 200-301 exam topics and then that will bring you here. This lists out everything that's covered in the exam, listed by the domain, and you can click on show details here to expand that out. So I've done that for the automation and programmability section, and you can see that what you need to know is how automation impacts network management. So looking at the benefits of programmability and automation. Also comparing traditional networks with controller-based networking, you need to know about the SDN architecture, the northbound and southbound APIs, comparing traditional campus device management with Cisco DNA Center. So you'll also learn about that. Characteristics of REST-based APIs, CRUD, HTTP verbs, and data encoding, looking at configuration management tools, Puppet, Chef, and Ansible, and you need to be able to interpret JSON encoded data. So you can see there's a lot of things in there. It's quite a wide topic and this can seem overwhelming at first. But don't worry, in this section, all of these different terms that you see here, I'm going to be breaking them down and explaining them. So by the end of the section, you're going to be comfortable with everything here. Now note that in the requirements for the exam, you don't actually need to be a developer that's able to write your own code for the network programmability. Python is the programming language of choice for working with network environments. And you see that Python isn't even mentioned here at all. So what you're gonna learn here is really an introduction to network programmability and automation. You're gonna learn what all of the different components are and how they all fit together but you're not going to actually be doing your own coding from here because that would just be a very steep learning curve. You are, however, going to be able to implement network automation by using tools such as Ansible and DNA Center though. So you will be able to do your own automation. You're just not going to be writing your own code in Python. Okay, so that's what we're going to be covering here. You do actually need to know some of the basic terminology around Python. So I'm going to be covering that in the next lecture.